Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 131 on the idea of calculating the number of combinations and binomial coefficients. In this video, we are going to explore how one can calculate the number of ways to distribute n objects over r bins. Note, you will need to know factorials to understand this video. A video explaining factorials is available on the course YouTube channel. So what are the types of questions we are looking to answer? One example is, say that I have five apples of different varieties. How many different combinations of three apples are there? Another example question would be that there are four teams in an NFL division. How many games are necessary for each team to play every other team in their division? Or another example is, say I have 10 molecules in a box. How many different combinations are there with three molecules on the left-hand side and seven on the right-hand side? So what is common amongst all of these different situations? All of these problems are looking at a large pool of items and trying to choose a subset where the order of the items is not important. In the first example, I'm trying to choose three apples out of five. It doesn't matter what order I choose the apples in. In the second example, I'm choosing two teams to play each other out of the four teams in an NFL division. It doesn't really matter what order the teams play in in this perspective, it just matters how many games do I need. And in the last example, I'm looking to choose three molecules out of 10 to be on the right. It doesn't matter which three, just that there are three. So now let's move on and try and calculate these different combinations. I will explore this in the apple example, wherein I have five apples of different varieties and want to know how many different combinations of three apples are there. The way to calculate the number of combinations is given by the formula n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial where n is the number of objects in total, in this case, five for the five apples, and r is the number of objects in your subgroup, in this case, three, because I want three apples. Plugging into the numbers into this formula, we see five factorial over five minus three factorial, three factorial, which is five factorial over two factorial, three factorial. Calculating out the factorials, we get 120 over 2 times 6, which means that there are 10 different combinations of 3 apples given the 5 that I have. This calculation is called a binomial coefficient for reasons that are somewhat sophisticated, and this calculation can be represented in several different ways, and you should be familiar with all the different ways of representing this calculation as different fields tend to use different notation. One is to use NCR, where both the N and the R are subscripts. One is NCR, where the N is a superscript and the R is a subscript. And then N and R enclosed in parentheses. All three of these things mean to do N factorial over N minus R factorial, R factorial. This concludes this video.